Protesters march against CAA on London streets. The rally, organized by student groups and Indian outfits in the UK, marched around a mile down the streets to gather outside the Indian High Commission in London thousands of students, activists and representatives from several Indian diaspora and human rights organizations gathered opposite Downing Street in London to protest against India's new Citizenship Amendment Act CAA. The rally, organized by student groups and Indian outfits in the UK, marched around a mile down the streets to gather outside the Indian High Commission in London. The protesters carried placards reading Protect the Constitution, Stop Dividing India, United Against Racism in India and No Citizenship on the Basis of Religion. The CAA came into force in India last December amid protests in India and around the world. The Indian government has stressed that the new act does not deny any citizenship rights but has been brought in to protect the oppressed minorities of neighboring countries and provide them citizenship. The protesters, from around the UK and describing themselves as representative of diverse and multi-faith Indian communities across the UK, demanded that the CAA be repealed because it undermines India's secular constitution. They also called for the abolition of the National Register of Citizens NRC, and National Population Register NPR, which they said in conjunction with the CAA, opened the way for selective mass disenfranchisement of India's Muslim population. UK opposition Labour Party MP Sam Tari addressed the demonstrators with the message that human rights in any country is an international issue. We are not here as any anti-India demonstration, we are here as a pro-India demonstration. It is incredibly important that our voices are heard against laws that are not good for the future of the country, said the East London MP. Messages of support from Labour MPs Stephen Timms, Clive Lewis and newly elected Indian origin parliamentarian Nadia Whittome were also read out, calling on the UK government to take up the issue with Indian counterparts. On the eve of Republic Day, we are reminded of our core values of freedom, equality and diversity. We stand in solidarity with all the people in India and around the world in their fight against injustice and racism, said Harsav Baines, of the Indian Workers Association GB. The protest in front of the Brazilian embassy, which preceded the march to the Indian High Commission, seeks to highlight the fact that fascism today is a truly global problem, said a spokesperson for the School of Oriental and African Studies SOAS, India Society. Some of the other groups backing Saturday's march included Cast Watch UK, Tamil People in the UK, Indian Muslim Federation UK, Federation of Redbridge Muslim Organizations FORMO, Kashmir Solidarity Movement, South Asian Students Against Fascism among others. Saturday's demonstration, to mark the eve of India's Republic Day, will be followed by another protest outside India House in London on Sunday, when pro-Pakistani and separatist groups led by Tariq e Kashmir UK plan to observe a Black Day against the Indian government. The Indian High Commission in London has raised serious concerns for the safety of the mission and its staff and Indian High Commissioner Ruchi Ganeshyam had even taken up the matter with UK Home Secretary Priti Patel. London Mayor Sadiq Khan has pledged robust security to prevent any violence during Sunday's protests, as the Metropolitan Police said that a proportionate policing plan would be in place. Think your friends would be interested? Share this story.